Hello, my name is Exabu and this is Unity of Command Fishrai Mission on Hard. Three, two, one. So let's look at this mission. You may not know that, but in Stalingrad, I, it seems that the historic battles, and this is one of the historic battles as you're approaching Stalingrad, are actually somewhat more difficult than uh, the ones in the historic branch. You actually get a very similar mission in um, the same area, which is called Kalach, appropriately, and while it has a few tricks to it, it's much less uh, difficult. So, with this place, uh, obviously, <sighs> there are a bunch of problems here. You don't have many troops here, unlike Kalach, and you, the Soviets have plenty, plenty of tanks, and one of the problems is that the s tanks like to attack, generally the Soviets are very aggressive, as you can see, and by the way, this is a perfect example of why you should pay attention to your defensive abilities, counterattacks and rearguards, and this, in this case, counterattacks, like, just mauls, I think, six Soviet units, because the Soviets love focusing on these tank units, just because the AI kind of is uh, is taught to know that your tank units quite often are very um, critical. You don't have many tanks, but they are at the same time critical at achieving your victories. And they quite often target tanks that go deep into their territory. And so this is like one of the features of their behavior. So counterattack is in many of these cases, not all of the... Uh, missions in Stalingrad are critical to, um, uh, uh, like, not, mi not all missions in in, in the Stalingrad DLC are missions that um, uh, that are very offensive on the Soviet side. So sometimes they're very defensive, they're not trying to counterattack, they're retreating using rearguard and everything. Once again, the AI loves and uses rearguard sometime, as I found out. And so, but there are some missions like this, where the Soviets... Cancer attack all the time, like Fight Blah 1, for example. And another example of these missions, by the way, sort of, you know, taken very, very early. You really don't need... Uh, so, yeah, so you need to be careful about these counterattacks and use your counterattack, the counterattacks of your own, because the Soviets, uh, the German tanks are very powerful on the attack, and counterattack allows you to use your attack rating uh, on the defense, and it doesn't disappear, so like as you've seen, like one, a single strong tank unit has destroyed like five Soviet uh, divisions. So the thing is, the thing, the thing about this mission is, it's not very obvious, but in my opinion, you need to push through Surovikino, send your tanks, beef them up, Obviously, use, like, your whatever resources you have to take Kletzka, which is kind of a bit difficult, but building a few bridges across that river uh, west of Kletzka will help you, well, get to it early. The same uh, the same is true about Nizhny Chir. Uh, actually, this is the place for you to use the Flying Artillery ability. I think this is the best one because, like, it just gets it away, gets it out of the way, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to spend uh, or send too many troops to that area. But your main push, your most uh, most best equipped, most prepared push should be towards Golubinske and south of Gletskaya, like south of those hills. Uh, because first, this will invite an counterattack with the Soviets, as this little train that I'm doing as I, I'm getting reinforcements. And so, um, uh, so with the, uh, with the, uh, with that attack, so below, below those hills, south of those hills, so the Soviets will counterattack immediately with those tanks, right? So they have a couple of tank divisions there, as you've seen. So if you don't, if you push all the way into Kletskaya and then try and advance through uh, through those hills towards Golubinska, you first, you're not going to be able to advance very quickly. And two, you're not going to have too many troops near Golubinska. So any of those tanks, and they'll get activated once you kind of reach Golubinska. They'll get activated and then push that unit, those units that break through, and there will be fewer of those. So it's much more difficult. I tried it and tried it and tried it, and I just failed all the time. So don't do it. Do what I did. Go through the plane, send your tanks, use counterattacks. Be careful. Be very, very passive aggressive. So kind of push in, or aggressive passive in a way, right? So push in, but give them counterattack or rear guard, like if it's infantry, because actually, actually I'm making this, these mistakes, but sometimes you just don't have the command points. Uh, or cancer attack for, for the motorized divisions may not always be the best idea because 
even though they have better attack than defense, it's not by, by a lot, so, and they're weaker than tanks, so maybe not the best ideas. By the way, Kletskaya, the Soviets love, they don't do it in this, uh, in this particular recording, but the Soviets absolutely love attacking Kletskaya uh, and trying to take it away from you. So make sure on the first turn you're not going to be able to uh, entrench those troops, but at least try, first and foremost, obviously it's a good idea to have a strong unit sitting in Kletskaya. Obviously it's not so easy, especially for the Germans, like it's not always easy. Uh, because you need strong units elsewhere, and uh, but no retreat is always a good idea. Quite often discourages Soviet attacks, especially if it's a massed attack when they like send one division, a uh, probe, oh, see, it's a no retreat, and then stop the attack, right? So that you've like it's something I see all the time with with the AI. So it's like the AI is sometimes cautious. It can send lots of troops, but doesn't always do it if it sees that. Oh, I'm not gonna reach it. Right, so obviously once you get to it, you like uh, get to fortifications, just fortify the. Uh, even though I'm not doing it, so I, I'm actually doing it, uh, doing pretty well in this mission. And as you can see, this is it for the mission. So I've taken everything. I decided not to. Oh wait a second, do I record? Oh yeah, I'm still recording. I was, no. No, I'm not recording. So this is it for the mission. <laughs> all of all of the objects are taken. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, this is it for today. Uh, thank you for listening and watching, and until next time, cheers.